because you're able to understand your emotions better, you're able to then manage your emotions better. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Affirm Your Abundance podcast. My name is Tiffany Rodan Howell. Thank you so much for being here. On our last episode, we spoke about the importance of mindfulness for our thoughts and our emotions and sensations. And we also mentioned that practicing mindfulness in these areas can really increase your emotional intelligence. So today, what I wanted to really go over is just what the heck is emotional intelligence? Why is it beneficial for our mental wellness? And what are some things that we can do besides mindfulness that can help us understand it more? So what the heck is emotional intelligence? Emotional intelligence, also known as EQ, is the ability to identify, manage, and understand not only our emotions, but the emotions of others. So this is when self-awareness really comes into play because are you being compassionate? Are you being empathetic and communicating effectively? All of these are directly related to your personal EQ. But why are high EQ levels important for mental wellness to begin with? Y'all, studies are showing that people with high EQ have more success in their relationships, more success in their careers, and are overall more resilient. Which makes sense. Because you're able to understand your emotions better, you're able to then manage your emotions better. So not only are studies showing these things, but they're also showing that people who have high levels of EQ also don't deal with as much anxiety or depression because they're able to manage their emotions differently. And now you might be thinking, okay, that sounds good, Tiffany. But what are the ways I can actually increase my EQ? And I'm glad you asked because the first thing I would recommend is learning more about it. Gain a better understanding of what EQ really is. I recommend reading up on some books like Emotional Intelligence 2.0 by Travis Bradbury or Go Suck a Lemon by Michael Cornwall. Or you can just Google it. I'm leaving some links below in the show notes so that way you don't have to do all the work. And the other biggest way that I would recommend to increase your EQ, besides mindfulness, of course, would be develop empathy. Remember we said self-awareness, right? So a part of that is going to be allowing yourself to disconnect from your own personal biases and allow yourself to really empathize with somebody about a different situation. Do what you can to see their perspective, to understand their experience. And if you can't imagine it, then ask genuinely it's so simple to just say hey i think you and i are seeing the situation a little differently how do you see it how are you experiencing it but when you ask those questions make sure that you're not missing out on the most important part you ask the questions genuinely but more importantly you listen to the response listen to what that person is trying to tell you what that person is trying to explain don't interrupt don't try to fix things. Just embrace the fact that this person trusts you enough to share. And just by doing this, you're able to build your relationship, develop your empathy, show your compassion, and all the other things that are going to help you increase your emotional intelligence over time. And with that being said, let's affirm our abundance and our EQ together. Get into a nice comfortable spot. Close your eyes if you feel safe to do so. If you're driving, then just listen to the sound of my voice and the truth behind the words that we are saying together. Repeat after me. I understand my emotions. I am self-aware. It's easy for me to manage my emotions. I give love and empathy to all who I connect with. I am grateful for my ability to increase my emotional intelligence. Express that gratitude, y'all. Yes, you can start bringing yourself back now. And how was that for you? Thanks so much again for being here with us today. Make sure to comment below and let me know what were your thoughts on EQ? What were some of your favorite affirmations from today? And is there anything that you learned from this episode that you now want to go dive a little deeper in? I want to know. I want to hear it all. 
be sure to let me know in the comments below. And that's it for today. I will see you on the next one. I love you. I appreciate you and stay well. Bye y'all.